Hello, I'm Alexis Sagun, and I'll be analyzing the swing by Jane Henry Fragnard, which was done in 1776 on oil on canvas and is 35 by 32 inches. This painting can be seen at the Wallens Collection in London. I will use iconography to analyze what all the figures in the pictures mean and why they were placed in a certain place and position. I would also use cultural studies because this painting is made during the Rococo time period and is before and during the French Revolution. Lastly, I would use gender studies to see why the lady is a focal point of the picture. According to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, Jane Honor Fragnar was born in Greece, Alpes Maritimes, France. At the age of 18, Fragnar was taken to Francisco Bourget, a famous French painter who was supposed to enhance his painting abilities because his dad seemed that he had a great talent with art. Bourget helped Fragnar enhance his artistic abilities, but he felt like he wasn't quite ready to be the painter he wanted to be. Once he left Roche, he went to Rome and studied in the French Academy until 1761. Once he left the Academy, he was a developed painter and started to paint some paintings based on the Rococo time period. And also, he liked to paint portraits while implementing the Rococo style. He had paintings like Blind Man's Buff, The Swing, and many more. The Rococo time period started in the early 17th century and ended in the mid 18th century. It was called the Rococo time period because of the painting style that was like Baraque. Baraque was characterized using semi-abstract ornamentation and lightness of color and weight. It was also supposed to show playfulness, joy, and grace. The unique thing about the Rococo time period is that it wasn't just for the upper class and the people in power. There are three different kinds of Rococo and Baraque, French, Catholic, and Protestant Baraque. The Rococo time period didn't just affect paintings, it also affected architecture and sculptures. According to the book Rococo, they would use asymmetrical scrolling curves, gliding white and, and pastel colors, sculpture molding, and tompel oil frescoes to create the illusion of surprise and drama. Catholic Baraque affected the design in the Catholic churches. They would use bright and neutral colors to convey happiness. The reason that they changed the church architecture was because before the Rococo time period, only art that followed some guidelines was considered art. Painters didn't want to follow those guidelines anymore. So he started to change them to something that everyone could agree on, which resulted in creating the Rococo time period. If you pay close attention to the paintings in the Catholic Church, they are religious paintings, but all the paintings still show joy and use vibrant colors. All the architecture in the church is asymmetrical and use gestural lines to create the design of the church. In Baraki was art that was against abuse and any type of corruption that the Catholic Church made. What sparked painters to start making props in Baraki was when Pope Leo X made a campaign in Germany telling sinners that they could buy their way into heaven, while well, they were just helping them get funds for St. Peter's Bolesica. They started to realize that, that he was cheating them out of their money. As a response, they tried to portray the Catholic Church as evil and it created a split between Catholics. There was a huge reduction in religious paintings from the Protestants. It was like if they banned religious paintings. French Baraque was before and during the time of the French Revolution. The French Revolution was influenced by the American Revolution because the American Revolution showed that the people should have the power, not only one king. So the French followed the Americans footsteps and started to fight for their rights and the liberation of King Louis XVI. The French Revolution started in 1789 and ended in 1799. The battles of war were portrayed in some paintings like the one I have shown. You can see that one of the battles is happening. You can also see that they added religion to the picture as you see God with his angels. That can be because citizens thought that God helped them win the war and get liberation and the freedom. Of Baraki styles used in the 18th century. Italian Baraki was used for religious sculptures while French Baraki was used for every other type of sculpture. Baraki used a lot of gestures lines to create the person's hair and clothing in a sculpture. The Baraki style is also supposed to show a lot of movement in the sculpture like Gian Lorenzo Brandy David. As you can see, David's body looks like it's twisted and that he's cocking back whatever he has in his hand as if he's going to launch the object. In the swing, the Rococo style is shown in a sculpture of the Cupid with the finger over his mouth. On the platform he's standing on, as you can see, gestural lines and some outline lines that create the illusion of people walking around the platform. According to Natalie Camp, in The Swing by Jane Honor Fragron, the man who is laying down on the shade is believed to be St. Julian. He was the one that commissioned the painting and composed the poses. The reason that he is laying down with his arm pointing towards the lady is that he sees her as a sexual object. So he's looking under her skirt, he is sexually attracted to the lady on the swing. 
That's why the other man is in the painting is his bishop, who he ordered to push the lady Ham on the swing. Ham also emphasizes that the reason for the cupids in a painting is to emphasize love. But as you can see with the cupid as his finger over his mouth, the cupid is emphasized in an affair between St. Julian and the lady. That's why he just has his finger over his mouth like he's telling someone to be quiet and they're trying to keep the affair a secret. The second cupid that looks like a toddler with an angel holding on to him, that's because the angel is a sign of guilt. And that's why he's not even looking at the lady and he's concerned by the action that she's taking. Also, as you can see by the cupid with the finger over his mouth, is a flying slipper. That's the sign that the lady is improper because the ideal woman don't Next, have affairs. Next, Camp also helps me understand that the lady in the swing is purposely lifting up her dress so that St. Julian can look under her. She has all this makeup on. She seems elegant with her big rococo dress and seems like a proper lady. But as you can see with one of the slippers flying off her leg, this symbolizes that she isn't a proper woman at all. She's improper because a proper woman at the time period was a housewife that didn't do much but just have the husband kids cook and clean the house but having an affair with another man is seen as betrayal to whoever the her Ashley husband Kemp is tells us that the dog in the picture is seen barking and upset at the lady this can be because the dog is a symbol of loyalty dogs have been a symbol of loyalty for a long time and like the saying says a dog is always loyal to its owner no matter the circumstances it being upset might mean that the loyalty of the woman has been broken also when you see a dog is upset is usually because it senses some type of danger or fear. Furthermore, the dog might also be upset because it feels like what the lady on the swing is doing is something she should fear. Linda Garabi talks about the gender roles in France during the Rococo time period and helps me understand why the lady is a focal point of the painting. As you can see, the focal point of the painting is the lady. Fragnar puts her in the center of the painting and makes it so that there's sunlight hitting her so it, she could be seen as the spotlight of the painting. This is because during the time, women had no power at all and they were fighting for their rights. But they had the influence over men. They would have to use their natural beauty to influence men to get what they wanted. This emphasizes that the lady in the painting probably wants something from St. Julian and that's why she's letting him look under her Gira dress. Bay also talks about the role of men during the Rococo time period. The role of a man in the 17th century was to work, provide for the family, and go to war if needed. Men were the, the dominant person in, in the relationship. They were the one in power in the relationship. You may ask yourself, then why aren't they the focal point of the painting? They aren't the focal point of the painting because you must remember that women had an influence on men. So they got what they wanted but they had to use their body as sexual objects and they had to look sexy for the men so they could actually have an influence on what the man chooses to do. Therefore, St. Julian and his bishop are in the shaded area in the painting because they are being amused by the natural beauty of the lady. In my collage, which is a recreation of the swing, as you can see, I have Marilyn Monroe with her iconic pose above an air vent with her dress being lifted up on the swing, while I have a pair of eyes as they were looking under her dress. I also have a black lady with her finger over her mouth looking straight at Monroe. I also have an angel who is holding on a boy looking at Monroe. Lastly, I also have two girls who are jumping up with joy and I had a mysterious male figure in between them holding their hands to symbolize an affair. I tried to use images that are from the 21st century to show that there are still people who have affairs and let other people use their body to influence them and many more other things. In conclusion, Fragnar implements the Rococo style in the swing perfectly. He shows joy, happiness, and lust in the painting. He also uses a lot of symbolism with where everything is placed and what he decides to implement in the picture. We also need to know the culture in which the painting was made to fully understand what is happening in the painting and all the symbolism that is in it.